everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous, and I have another great ebook for you today that I think you could repurpose to sell as a tripwire in your content, say for $7, or you could edit it to sell it as an ebook as part of a coaching program. So it's really great. I've tried to make it so it looks like a magazine layout. Um, basically, once you go through, each page has the same look and feel. So it's going to have, you can put the name of your company or your name at the top, and it has a copyright over here as well. Um, there is a copyright page and intro and the front, and then that's followed by the table of contents. You'll notice I put numbers here for each section versus page numbers. Now the page numbers actually are kind of cute. They're these little uh, dots down here, these little squares with numbers on them. So very subtle but they kind of match this look and feel here at the top. Um, each page has a sort of different layout. So this is a two page layout with just a small bit of text over here. So you could always just repurpose and mix and match all of these layouts however you need. Um, so over here, you'll notice that I put different sections. Uh, and again, I did put the section titles to correspond with the table of context versus the page numbers. Um, Cause honestly, I don't think anyone's going to look too much at page numbers anyway. Uh, it's kind of a shorter ebook. Um, and then you have sort of a longer vertical layout over here. This is a much more text heavy layout. Um, over here, you've mixed and matched uh, contrasting with the graphic at the top versus a graphic at the bottom. And that's just something you want to think about when you think about design to make things sort of balanced out. Um, again, uh, You'll see these at the top of every page and the page numbers. So you have a lot of different layouts to choose from. Um, when you get here to the back, uh, there's a section called Further Reading where you can send people out to get more information, or you could even link to your own website to your blog posts that are relevant to this. Uh, this one actually came with a promo for some free book downloads. And over here on the right uh, is where I put my own promo, um, something you could do as well uh, to sort of finish it out as the last few pages. I think that's always a good idea. And then the very end of the book is just your logo um, and your website and where to find you. So I hope you like this. And I will also show you, as I promised, the alternate um, cover that I think you could use. And this was designed in Photoshop. And you'll notice here, on the right, when you go to the Layers panel, and if you don't know how to find that, you go to Windows and you make sure Layers is checked off. Uh, you really don't know, have to know how to use Photoshop to edit this cover. Over here, the big T means text. So if I click in here, and I, then I click the text tool over here, then I can go ahead and edit this text to whatever I want. Let's say I could call this Book One instead of Quickie One. Uh, same thing here with this logo. If I want to change this logo, right here it says replace with your logo. You're just gonna drag and drop a graphic into here. And when I say drag and drop, I really just mean you can just drag a JPEG from your Finder folder onto uh, the file over here and it'll work. This replace with your background color. Um, let me just turn it off with a little eye drop. So you'll see I put pink in the background because those are my logo colors. Um, you can replace with this with any background color you want. If you double click it, you can put the hex code in here, or you can manually choose a different color from over there. Uh, same thing over here, the text again. Um, you'll notice I did add an effect over here, so bevels um, and drop shadows to this. You can remove those if you want. Um, and over here, you can just put your author name at the bottom. So I hope you find this useful, and I will hopefully come out with some more products again next week. Thanks.